Welcome to Feature Friday. This is the series where we like to show you how to use some of the coolest features inside of Ecamm Live. Today, we're going to be talking about how to use sound effects as a way of leveling up your productions inside of Ecamm. We're talking live streams, pre recorded videos, webinars, Zoom calls, any place where you would use Ecamm Live, you can add sound effects to give it that little extra. Maybe I should just use the sound effects here. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let me show you how to do this. As we jump into Ecamm Live here, we have a place known as the sound effects panel. If the sound effects panel is missing on your machine, go up to window. It's in alphabetical order. Go down the sound effects panel. This will pop up. As you can see here, I have some sound effects. Forever. And everyone knows this. Of course, Ecamm ships with some sound effects, but you might want to go and get some of your own. I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite places where I go to get sound effects for my productions. Storyblocks is one of the best places online to go and get sound effects for your show. They have a lot here, music, video, sound effects, overlays, special effects, templates, they have everything. But here in the sound effects region, you can look for something that you want. Get yourself a cool sound effect. There are tons and tons and tons here. If you go under collections, there's a lot. If you look under sound effects, you can get everything from applause to explosions, whatever. You just pick on a particular topic and it will give you some in here that you can play in your show. Next, let's take a look at epidemic sound. As you pop into Epidemic Sound here, you'll see in the top window, there is sound effects. You can click on here and they've done a cool job of organizing it by categories. Now, what a lot of people are looking for their shows to give it a little pump is things like stingers. Stingers are kind of cool here. Let's just go play a random one. Something to cause a pattern interrupt, wake people up and let them know, hey, are you listening? Or somebody says something really cool. Okay, that one's a little weird. <laughs> let's, play it. let's play another one. I like that, right? So you can come here and you can find these. You can use these in your productions and things like that. Storyblocks and Epidemic Sound are both paid options, but fret not, I'm gonna show you a free one. This is MixKit. MixKit, you can also find stock videos, stock music, and sound effects for your productions. You just come over here and click on sound effects. You check it out. There's a couple things in here and let's play this one. See, that's a good way to wake people up and make sure they're paying attention. Uh, here's another cool one. As you can see, there's lots of places to get sound effects for your show. Now I'm going to show you how to put some in the Ecamm Live. But before we do that, I'd like to show you one more. There's one more that you should know about just in case you happen to be an owner of a Stream Deck. If you open up your Stream Deck configuration, you'll notice a little blue bubble icon in the top center. If you press on that button, it will bring you over here to the Stream Deck store. In the Stream Deck store, you can come down to the bottom here click on sound effects. Now it takes a couple seconds to load and then you'll see there are sound effects in here. One thing to note is these will only operate in your stream deck, but since you already have a stream deck, why not stick them in there as well? Now let's jump into Ecamm and show you how to add your own sound effects. Here we are inside of Ecamm Live and it is really simple. There's a couple of ways you could do this. You can click on the plus sign down here and it will open up a standard Mac dialog box that you will then take over to your desktop, find the sound effect you want, click on it and say open, and it will add it to your panel. The one thing about this is gonna drop it all the way to the bottom of your panel, but hey, it's here, Booyaka. right? Once it's down here, if you don't want it there, you can pick it up and you can drag it. Now it takes a little bit of tricks to get your hands used to sliding around when you're dragging, but you can drag it into place. Or the way I do it, I always say it's a Mac. We bought a Mac because we could drag and drop. Just pick it up from your desktop, pull it over in here, find a spot for it and turn it loose, right? Welcome to the party. That's it. So again, now maybe you say, hey, that's a little bit loud. No problem. We're gonna click on this little cogwheel down here and we're going to adjust the slider to control the volume. Welcome to the party. 
right? So you can adjust the volume with this slider here individually. And one more thing, now we're down here in the bottom, you can click on the hotkey and you can add a hotkey to this so that it triggers whenever you press it. So I'll press H, right? Because I know we don't re use that in Ecamm. So now if I press H on the keyboard. Welcome to the party. <laughs> you see folks, it's just that simple. Find your sound effects, drag them into the sound effects panel, adjust the volumes, add a hot key if you wish, add it to your stream deck if you wish, and now you could add a little bit more boom to your show. That, my friends, is another Feature Friday. I am your community manager, Doc Rock. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, drop them down in the comment section below, or, of course, you can reach us at marketing at ecamm.com. The algorithm is gonna show you two more videos that think you should watch, and we absolutely agree with them.